We just got a new exciting leak for EA Sports College Football 25, which is coming out in two months. Now, we've been getting a ton of information about this game lately, a lot of leaks coming from here and there, some info coming from EA, but today an unlikely source actually leaked what appears to be the deluxe cover of the game and the three cover athletes, along with the screenshot from the game, and that's actually the PlayStation Store of all places. Now, this might have been a leak or this might have been done on purpose, we'll talk about that in a minute, but if you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss out on any of the official news about this game as we're going to be getting a ton of news this month including some gameplay footage make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon on so you don't miss those important videos when they drop trying to get to 600k subscribers before this game comes out so if everybody watching just subscribed we could literally hit that number in a few days so we had a report about a week or two ago about the cover athletes for this game from matt brown who has been doing a lot of reporting on this game over the past year, getting info from EA, info from schools, and things like that. And he said that we could expect three cover athletes for this game, and they would be from the big three conferences, the SEC, the Big 10, and the Big 12. He also said that each cover would be a different position so you wouldn't have multiple quarterbacks for example now when he said there were three different covers of the game i also assumed that meant that we would have three different versions of the game we'd have a standard we'd have a deluxe and you know they're going to call the other version something who knows and he did say that he anticipated different pre-order bonuses for those other editions of the game some of that stuff may be likely tied to ultimate team or some dlc uniforms he did mention but we don't really know exactly what EA is going to do in terms of pre-order and deluxe editions. We'll get that info pretty soon. But today, it looks like the PlayStation Store leaked the cover a little bit early. Or maybe this was done on purpose and EA is just kind of strategically building hype for the game. Because one thing I've learned over the years is sometimes things look like a leak. But they wind up not actually being a leak. It's actually done on purpose but kind of quietly to build hype for the game. But either way, we got what appears to be the deluxe cover of the game with Donovan Edwards, Quinn Ewers, and Travis Hunter on the cover cover you can also see in front of them they're not the focal points of the cover but you can see Judkins from Ohio State you can also see Carson Beck from Georgia and Milrow the quarterback of Alabama so that's pretty interesting so it would appear that the three main cover athletes are going to be Quinn Ewers which is a quarterback from the SEC and then you've got Donovan Edwards the running back from Michigan who plays in the Big Ten and then you have Travis Hunter who is a wide receiver slash cornerback who plays for Colorado in the Big 12 and this pretty much falls in line with what I expected we knew that there was going to be somebody from Colorado on the cover because they do have a ton of hype and they have two of the top draft prospects with Sanders and Hunter. We knew that they would probably put a Michigan Wolverine on the cover because they just won the national championship. And then from the SEC, it was kind of a toss up. It could have been Carson Beck, Quinn Ewers, Milrow, could have been a number of different guys. I'm actually surprised they didn't go with Carson Beck. It appears that it's going to be Quinn Ewers. If these guys are the focal point of the deluxe cover, they're probably all going to have their separate cover as well. Now we're going to get into a little more information but really quickly, I do want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. If you love sports and you love money, then you need to be on Underdog Fantasy playing their pick'em game. Basically, you could take two or more players to go higher or lower on a wide variety of stats, and if they hit, you can win money. But the best part about Underdog Fantasy is they're going to always give you a free play at sign up, and they're going to give you bonus cash to play with. So whenever you sign up right now during the NBA playoffs, they're always going to give you a free play of a guy to get a single point. So for example, if you sign up right now, they're going to give you Anthony Edwards to get a single point. If you sign up tomorrow, they'll give you Jason Tatum. And whenever you sign up, there will always be a free play just like this and if you sign up using my promo code ray ray on top of that special free pick that you're going to get they're going to also give you up to 250 dollars in bonus cash on your first deposit so you get a free pick and you get a bunch of free money to play with and you can't beat that now another thing that was leaked on the playstation store is we finally got our first in-game screenshot from this game now it's not a crazy screenshot it's not anything on field but we do see notre dame running out of the tunnel now again the only other screenshot we've actually seen from this game was over a year ago and it was the ohio state mascot and you know that's not really something i consider like an in-game screenshot i mean i guess technically it is but it's of a mascot not the player so this is actually a much better screenshot we can kind of see the player models they do still look kind of similar to madden that's what i expected the fans and the crowd in the screenshot however do look better than what they do in madden but again it's just such a a small sample of the game it's hard to really pass a lot of judgment but it looks like 
a next gen college football game, right? Like you can definitely tell the difference between this and the last college game in CW14, which was released a couple of console generations ago. So it's kind of cool that we got the cover. We got a screenshot. We've got some hype for the game. Now this game is really coming. I know there's still a few people out there that for some reason think it's not, but if you don't believe it now, I mean, you can go look on the PlayStation store. So this is pretty exciting stuff and we should be getting a lot more news about the game soon. Now the rumor date is still May 16th where they're going to drop some info, maybe a trailer now in the midst of literally making this video i had to stop and re-record this part right here because ea has also now just officially revealed on their website that the official date that they're going to be dropping info is indeed may 16th that was the rumor that was the leak but it hadn't been confirmed until now so if you go to ea's website for ea sports college football 25 they have officially put up a counter it says ea sports college football 25 news coming soon and you can see that there's five days and some hours left about six days of time left which would lead us to may 16th so that is super exciting literally six days from now we're gonna have news for this game i would think we're probably gonna have a trailer we're gonna have some stuff about the game modes we're gonna have some more screenshots so that's also now leading me to think the news that just kind of quote unquote leaked today on the playstation store was probably intended if this just followed that so you kind of just have to follow the trail to see what's going on here but yes this is exciting we're gonna get all the official news in less than a week also just kind of furthering the validity of this cover matt brown the guy who has been reporting on this game and has been the most reliable source outside of ea themselves even went on to say well they can't blame me for this leak lol which is kind of him in a way confirming that it is real but he's not going to come out and say it. he also said now would you say that this image provided by the sony playstation store lines up closely with what i reported last month well who can say really i certainly can't basically he's the guy that reported there would be three cover athletes three different positions from the three biggest conferences so he's basically saying this is the cover without directly saying it's the cover because you know he can't just come outright and say that because then you know that could ruin his relationship with the people at ea who have been you know kind of giving him a little bit of information matt brown also reported on something else yesterday that was a little bit exciting he said that the opt-in for the athletes for ea college football 25 are over 12,800, which is obviously well above the total number of roster slots because initially they said they were going to give 10,000 people the opportunity to opt in there would be 10,000 college football players you would get all of the main players for all of the teams and almost 13,000 people have opted in and I believe everybody that opts in is going to be put in the game but this kind of blew expectations because I don't know if they assumed that they would fill up the 10,000 spots if not everybody would opt in right away or like in a timely manner but the the opposite happened plenty of people opted in even just in the first week and I think we're coming up on kind of the deadline of when the game releases like if anybody starts opting in you know a few weeks from now they would probably come in an update but I think everybody that's opted in now should be in the game so I know people were kind of worried about some teams might not have enough players some teams might not have enough real guys that opted in doesn't look to be the case it looks like they have way more than they even anticipated which is great for us which means Means we're going to have a lot of the real college players in this game when it launches. Now, I'm also wondering if this is going to potentially speed up the full reveal of the game. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to start dropping info early just because of this. Because once again, this could be something that was actually planned, but they're acting like it's not planned. Trust me, game companies definitely do this a lot more than you would think. But I'm thinking this might actually maybe make them release the covers sooner if this, for whatever reason, was not a planned leak. They may actually release all of the official covers a little bit earlier because usually if something big like this does leak, then they kind of want to try to jump ahead of it and put out the official announcement. Uh, but in terms of like getting a trailer and actual information from the game, I don't think that's going to come any quicker because of this. I think we're still going to get that on whatever day that they already have that plan for. So that's just something to keep in mind. Now, if you're interested in learning more about what features we've already had confirmed for this game, you can check out this important video right here on the screen.